Cool. Pump up your tunes and we'll get started. So shoulder rolls, get those rolling. No, I'm a little sore this morning. So the benefit of when your teacher is sore either goes one way or the other, Johnny, is either um, they do less or they do more to try to make everyone as sore as they do. So, you know, we'll see how today goes. Um, all right, arms stretch out to the side, roll those wrists up towards the ceiling and around. Good, sit up nice and tall, stand tall, bellies in, spines long, chin tuck in, and release, drop those shoulders down. Arms active down by your side. You can also just push elbows down, but really try to drop those shoulders away from your ears, actively reaching down towards the ground. I used to call this the penguin dance. We were talking about being hot or cold earlier. So you know how like you can do like this movement, like that's what I always think about it in like movies with like penguin dancing. So it's the penguin dance. So you're pressing your arms straight down to the ground, dropping those shoulders. And then you're gonna gently pull them back. And then release. One more time, squeeze those shoulder blades down low, pulse it down. Not coming up past neutral. Pull those shoulders back. Good. Hold three, two, one. Release. Let's go right into some light jumping jacks. So big movements, arms and legs. One leg. Your choice. Just do the arms. Good, take it in front and crisscross those arms, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Take, if you're using your legs, take it back, step back behind you a little bit more, squeeze, squeeze. Alternating which arm goes on top as you come across. Last three, two, one. Sit tall, drop those shoulders down. Nice. Sit up nice and tall. Give yourself a nice light spinal twist one direction. Come back around, breathe in, exhale, sit tall, twist the other way. Come back in center. Arms up if you can or keep them low, but nice and wide out to the side. We're gonna do some side bends. Squeezing those leaks, squeeze. And then stay over on your right. Little pulses here, squeeze. Three, two, one. One direction each way, and then pause on the left. Squeeze. Last three. Two, one, come up center, twist towards opposite knee. You can bring that knee up towards you or just twist your trunk. Make sure you're not cranking your neck. Arms wide, squeeze. Three, two, one. Nice, drop those shoulders down, pull up our timer. So let's go on a little run here. All right, in three, two, one, jog it out, pump those arms. Get those legs going. High knees, if you're sitting, standing, wherever you're at, pump those arms. Core should be fired up. Drive those arms back like you're going for that long sprint. Make those arms longer. Really moving your whole body here. Three, two, one, release. Grab some weights or a dumbbells. We're gonna go into some chest presses to start. 
I'm going bam behind my back. And here we go. Three, two, one. Chest press forward, straight. Palms down to the ground, elbows out wide. Arms like goalposts here. Push. Straight out from those shoulders, nice. Drop those shoulders down away from your ears. Three, two, one. Release. Keep those bands there. We're gonna go into, if you wanna add them for your punches, for your burst of cardio, to get a little chest resistance and cardio at the same time. So starting with front jabs, front punches. Here we go in three, two, one, go, punch. Belly's engaged, fire it up. Keep breathing. Hands come back towards face, cross, trunk, rotates. Head goes with you. Good. Nice work. Last three, two, one. Drop those shoulders down. Them down towards the ground. Thanks. We're gonna go into some incline presses. So just keeping those bands there. So you're gonna press up towards the ceiling. So the band might roll up higher towards your armpits. Make sure it's still comfortable. Here we go, pushing up. Palms can face forward, but I also like to bring them so that the palms face each other in so that your knuckles are going more up to the ceiling. Just a little bit better on your shoulders. This angle, three, two, one. Nice. Catch your breath. If your band's wrapped around your hands, release it. Remember, there's ways to like grip the band. If you ever need help figuring out ways to do that, let me know. That way you don't have to wrap the band a million times and cut off your circulation. All right, here we go. So arms are gonna be out again in a chest press. But instead of pushing straight forward, we're gonna start with our arms out a little wider, squeeze together. Elbows stay nice and soft bent, so you're not completely locked out, squeeze. And then squeeze those shoulders to draw your arms back. And then squeeze your chest. Good. Keep it going. Little flies here. So you're gonna work your front first today. Then we're gonna switch over and do some stuff for your back. Three, two, one, and a release. One more round, punches, and then we're gonna switch muscle groups. Give your chest a break. So cardio and resistance if you want it. Punching forward to start in three, two, one, punch. You go as hard and fast as you want. You know your body. Wherever you're at, push it here. And cross through. Nice, you got 10 seconds here. Push yourself, fire up that core. Last three, two, one, release the band gonna come back out from behind your shoulders and back in front of you. Grab a sip of water if you need it. All right. 
Nice work. So jumping jacks with the bands. If you want more legs, put the bands underneath your feet and then you will jump out and in or one foot at a time and get some more hips in. If you're doing arms, then you can do resistance band or weights. Hold the resistance band, jumping jack arms with the band. All right, I'm gonna go legs. Here we go, in three, two, one, go. You can get arms in or you can just do legs. Out and in, step, stepping one foot at a time, whatever you need. Keep it going, you're halfway there. Push yourselves here for the last 10. The last five. Three. One. Release. Nice. We're gonna go bicep curl into a shoulder press. So if you're doing a band, you'll hold the band either underneath your foot or with your hand at your hips, bicep curl, shoulder press. Or grab some weights, some dumbbells, and we'll do one arm at a time, because if you're with the bands, it's easier to do one arm. And it also makes you keep your balance. So here we go, bicep curl, bicep curl, shoulder press, and then back down. And in, good. If you ever need more resistance, you can do the weight and the band. So you get the weight going up, extra poundage, and then the band has to pull you back down. Last three, two, one. Switch sides. Bicep curl. One side might feel stronger than the other. Often when we do work, one arm, at a, or, uh, one arm at a time kind of shows which side has just been tagging along a little bit more than the other. Keep those wrists strong. Get into more reps here. Looking good. Last one. Nice. Bands underneath your feet. And then you can just leave it there for a minute. Quick burst of cardio. You can add the band if you want. We did this last time, battle ropes. So up and down, smooth motions with your arms. Firing up that belly. Support your pelvis. So core engaged, hinge forward, up and down. Add ropes or add weight if you want. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So up and down, smooth. Get those arms going. Breathe. Purposeful with your movements wherever you're at. So if you're just doing arms, make it active from shoulders to fingertips. Last three, two, one. Release, drop those shoulders down away from your ears. Nice work. You have those bands ready underneath your feet. So let's go into rows. So we're gonna do a double arm row first. Just squeezing those shoulder blades back. So you'll hinge forward, flat back, shoulders down away from your ears, squeeze. Get those shoulder blades to kiss in the middle. Three, two, one, squeeze. Make it smooth both directions. Keep it going. 
neck in line with your spine. So you probably don't want to look up at the computer. Head down. Nice form aft in. Good. Last three, two, one. Release. Nice work. So next round, we're gonna do another round of rows. Uh, but you're gonna do single arm rows this time. So you might have to adjust that tension a little bit on the band. You're gonna hinge forward. Try not to let your whole torso completely twist. You're gonna row backwards. A little twist is all right. Reaching towards your toes or further out in front of you at an angle and pulling back like you would start a lawnmower. Here we go. Three, two, one. Row. Squeeze. Belly's engaged. Fire it up. So from the side, if you're standing or sitting, hinging. Reaching forward, pulling back. Keep it going. Three more. Last one and switch. Fire those abs and go. Last, keep it going, you got 10 seconds. Three. Last three here. And one. Nice. Release. You got one more bicep curl into a shoulder press. If you want, you could do both arms at a time. It's just challenging with the, uh, the bands. So if you've got weights, awesome. If not, single arm here, working that balance. Here we go. Three two, one, bicep curl, shoulder press. Push it up. Nice, Amanda. Looking good, Susanna. Push. Last three, two, one, switch sides. Bicep curl, shoulder press. All right, Gina. Have fun, everyone, with these. Breathe through that pain. Last three, two, one. All right. Nice work, everybody. Oh. All right. Last couple of minutes here. Let's get in a song workout. Um, can I have quick permission? And I'll play it. I thought I had it. Uh, Grab a sip of water. Otherwise, We'll skip it and do something else, and that's cool too. Hmm. I need permission to for you to share your audio, right? Yeah. Or just my screen in general. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Can you do it now? Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. So we did this song before. Um. Oh, I don't want to. You don't need to see my screen. You just need to hear the audio. Um, so we are going to do the song happy because it's Friday and everyone should be happy it's Friday. So you're going to fire up those abs, find your balance point. We're going to do crunches here. So you'll do, we're going to mix it up so you'll have flutter kicks, crisscrosses, and some knee ins or chest up, so some crunches. So you'll find your balance point. I'll call it out. Anytime you hear the word happy, 
you're gonna do a crunch. All right, or bring those knees up. Hold your balance the entire song, take breaks as you need to. Any, then during the chorus, we'll do some flutter kicks as well and I'll call that out for you. All right, so here we go. Find that balance point in like a V that you would do like a V up in or a crunch. If you're sitting and you don't, you're not using your legs, find that balance point for your chest so it's a little bit off and you'll use your arms either up high or down low and you'll do some crunches here. All right, let's have some fun. Johnny, ready to sweat? It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Can you hear it? Yeah. She's here, you can take she's a break. Louder, we good. Uh, uh, it's loud, it's okay, maybe we'll put it down. I could go to space. With the air, right. like I don't care, baby, by the way. Here you go, happy, uh, crunching.